हेलो फ्रेंड्स सत्येंद्र हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स डिजाइन स्टॉप वाल असेंबली एंड प्ले द असेंबली मैकेनिज्म इन क्रियो पैरामेट्रिक सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो दिस इज द स्टॉप वाल असेंबली and if you see the drawing this is the drawing this is the assembly drawing this is assembly in isometric this is the part drawing now i have one more drawing for the parts so these are the drawings so you can take a snapshot if you want to practice it now stop wall assembly contains totally 17 parts this is the first part the body which will take the maximum time so if you see inside it looks like this so this particular feature doesn't have much details in this drawing and that is why some people think that it is a extruded feature but this is not extruded or revolved feature this feature start with a angle and it become tangent here so for this particular feature we will use surfacing other than this most of the features are revolve here so let's start this assembly with this part and for this go to new part solid assign the name so i'll take name as body uncheck use default template and say okay now from here you select a proper part template so i'll go with this template this is a metric template millimeter kilogram second and i'll say okay now this part is having several revolve feature so i'll start this part with this feature so first i will create all add material features and then i will go for remove material feature so let's start with the revolve on to the front datum plane normal place a datum center line somewhere here and a sketch center line somewhere here switch off all the datums now i'll start with a line so i'll draw a line like this then i will mirror it like this now the dimension so the gap between these two lines is 350 then i will draw a line like this and then like this a wide equal constraint now i'll mirror these two lines with this center line then i will go with Three point arc from here till here, just like this. Now this dimension, this is two fifty. This is twenty two. Then I have one dimension from here till here. This is one twenty five. Then you have this radius, which is two fifty one. now close the sketch just like this and say okay and okay so the first feature is done now the second feature again revolve onto the front datum plane normal this time you place a datum center line somewhere here now draw the rough sketch so start like this go like this then like this then this and come down and close the sketch now this is 28 this is 276 this is 170 plus 32 so this is 170 plus 16 this side and 16 this side 32 now this dimension 
so this is 170 say okay and okay so the add material features are done now the remove material feature so once again go to revolve onto the front datum plane normal again you place a datum center line just like this now go for reference select this reference this reference and this reference now draw a circle starting from here now this is a radius 235 then draw a line starting from here this side one more line somewhere here make this point and this point symmetry with this now delete segment delete this segment these segments this 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 and this now this dimension so this is 125 Now close this sketch just like this and say ok. Remove material, say ok. Now go for view, sections and select the front datum plane. Make it section A. Now the next feature which is again a revolve feature onto the front datum plane, normal, place a datum center line somewhere here, then go for reference, select this face as a reference, then this edge as a reference. Now draw the line, start from here, come this side, go down, then go this side come down till here then close the sketch delete the equal constraint if you have now the dimension so this is 6 then this gap is 16 and this is 162 sketch is done now just say ok, remove material and say ok. So this was the outer part, now the center part which is this one. So for this first I will create a extrude feature onto the front datum plane, normal. Here I will draw a rectangle somewhere here, now the dimension. So from here till here this is 25, then from here till here this is also 25, the thickness is 16 and this is 25, say ok. Now this you make it to next both the side, say ok. So if you see the full view, there is a partition like this, now the next feature is this feature, so for this once again I will go to extrude, I will select this face, normal, I will draw a circle somewhere here. This circle dia is 176, this is the dia, say ok and go for two selected and select this bottom face, 
say ok. Now the next feature is this revolve cut. So, go to the revolve and to the front datum plane normal. Go for reference, select this reference, this reference and uh, this reference. Now, draw the sketch. So, draw a sketch like this, like this and place a datum center line somewhere here. Now, the dimension. So, this is 10, then this dimension, this is 144 and this dimension, this is 156, say ok, remove material, say ok. Now, the next feature is this one and this one. So, these features I will create using surfacing. So, for that first I will create couple of sketches. So, I will draw a line starting from here and I will draw like this. This angle I will take it as 138, then this length I will take as 80. So, these values are not given here, so I have checked it, this angle is 138. Same way this side I will draw a line from here till here. So, I will delete this parallel constraint. Now, this is 135 and uh, this length I will take as 75. Say ok. Similarly, I will draw few more sketches. So, next sketch I will create on this plane. Now, here I will take reference of this face and I will take reference of this face. Take reference of this point, then go with uh, the center arc from this center, create arc just like this and then draw one line from here, this side, now this length you take it as 45 and say ok. So, now I have this sketch and this sketch. Now, the next thing is I will create a datum plane which is onto this surface. This datum plane I will move it a of sketch 1. Now, the next thing which is a datum curve. So, select this point, hold the control key and then select this point, you see. Now, right click here, say normal and select this datum plane. Same way, you just right click here, say normal 
and select front datum plane. Direction is wrong, so flip it and say OK. So now you have a boundary just like this. So using this boundary, I will create the surface. So to create the surface, go to boundary blend, select this sketch first, hold the control key and then move your cursor here, just right click and select this individual portion. So you see there is a surface generated. For the second direction, you move your cursor here, again right click, select this portion and then hold the control key and select this curve. You see? You are getting a surface like this, see the preview and say ok. Now this surface you just mirror it using the front datum plane, say ok. Now select this surface, hold the control key and select this surface. Go for merge to stitch these two surfaces. These two surfaces will become a single surface, say ok. Now once you have converted this surface as a single surface, now go for thicken. Flip the direction. Now the thickness is 16. Everything looks fine. Say OK. Go to file, prepare, model properties and here you change this accuracy. This you make 0 0.001, close. So you will get a nice curve here. Same thing you need to do this side. So this side create a sketch onto this surface, sketch, go for reference, select this surface as a reference and then this surface as a reference. Draw a line from here this side This one you take it as 25 and then you go with center arc, draw arc just like this. This line must be connected with this. This value is take it 40. Say OK. Now the curve. So go to datum, curve, select this point, hold the control key and select this point. Right click say normal, select this datum plane, flip the direction, then come here, right click normal to the front datum plane, flip the direction, say ok. Now you go to boundary blend, select this curve first, hold the control key, move your cursor here, just right click and select this curve. Go for second direction, move your cursor here, just right click, select this curve and then hold the control key and select this curve. See the preview, say ok. Now go for mirror, 
to the front datum plane. Say OK. Now select this surface, hold the control key, select this surface and go for merge. To make these two surfaces single surface, say OK. Now you go for thicken. Flip the direction, this is 16. Now if you zoom this area, you will see that uh, there is some gap here, you see. So to fill this gap, you just go for these options, automatic fill, still you have gap, so go for controlled fit. Now you do not have any gap, it is filled, say ok. So now if you go for full view, you have this profile like this. and uh, this profile going like this. Okay. So, now I will just hide these sketches and curves. Now the next thing is these holes, so these are 6 holes M20 on PCD 225. So I will just come out from the section and then I will go for hole. I will select this face, I will switch on the datum planes and axis. So this drag handle I will drag to this axis and uh, this drag handle I will drag to this datum plane. Placement make it uh, diameter PCD is 225 holes are M20 so go to standard and from here you select M20. Now this angle is 0. Now the depth, make it to selected and select this face, say ok. Now go for pattern, axis pattern, select this axis, 360 degree, 6 items, say ok. Similarly, this side 8 holes dia 16 on PCD 200. So, go to hole, select this face, now drag this handle to this axis and this handle to this datum plane. Placement, make it diameter. PCD is 200, so this will be 200, and then this angle will be 22.5. Now the dia of hole is 16, so this is 16, and uh, make it 2 selected select this face, say ok. Now pattern it, axis pattern, select the proper axis, 360 degree, 8 items, say ok. One more time hole, Select this face, 
drag this handle to this axis and this handle to this datum plane. Again placement, make it diameter, this will be 200, this will be 22.5, die 16, depth is 2 selected, I will select this bottom face, I will say ok. Pattern it, axis pattern, select this axis, 360 degree, 8 items, say ok. There is some error, just modify it. Now, the next thing is couple of rounds. So, start adding the rounds, go for round, select this edge, this is 10, select this edge, this is also 10, this is 10, this is 10 and say ok. Next round which is this one, so this will be 26, 10 plus 16, now the next round which is somewhere here, this is again 10, then this one, this is also 10, next round. which is coming somewhere here, this is 10 and the same round will come somewhere here, this is also 10. Just flip your section view, Now just modify this round, select this edge, and then this edge, say ok. Again flip this, now the next round which is this one and this one, this will be 26, say ok. Similarly, that side, so just flip one more time. Go for round, this edge, it is not forming here, so leave it, just go for this edge first, say ok. One more round, select this edge, say ok. Now flip the section. Now the next round is coming somewhere here, this is 10, so it will go all around, say ok, one more round somewhere here, so this is also travelling all around, say ok. Now the next round is coming somewhere here, this 
Now, this will be 4 then the last round which is coming here and here say ok. So, this part is completely done. This inner portion is little complicated, but finally it is done. Save this part. So, the part is done. Now, let us create a top section. So, select top datum plane, go to view, sections. Now, this handle you drag it down and this value you take it 20, say ok. Now, let us relate this view with this top view. So, you see this portion, this is this portion and from here you can see that this is not an extruded one nor the revolve. this you just rename to section B and the part is done. Now, let us move to the second part and for that go to new part solid assign the name. So, I will take name as cover and check use default template and say ok. Now, from here you select the proper part template. So, I will go with this, I will say ok. Now, I will start this part with a revolve feature. So, I will go to revolve onto the front datum plane, normal, switch off all the datums. Place a datum center line somewhere here, then draw the section. So, I will start with a line, this is 176, this one, now I will draw the rough sketch. So, I will start like this, I will go like this, down, then come this side, down, then like this, then this close the sketch. Now, the dimension. So, from here till here this is 87, this is 6, then from here till here this is 47, then this is 28, then this one so, this is 70, this is 162, then this one, this is 276 and the sketch is done, say ok and ok. Now, the next feature is this hole. So, for this go to hole, select this face, switch on all the datums hold the control key and select this axis. Now, for this kind of hole, go to sketch, sketcher, draw the vertical center line just like this, then draw the rough sketch. So, I will start with a line, I will draw a line like this. Now, this dia is 56. then draw the rough sketch. Now, the dimension. So, from here till here this is 87, 
this is 50, this angle is 120 and this is 28. So, the sketch is done, say ok and you got the hole, say ok. Now, the next feature which is again a hole, this one, this is M12. So, go to the hole, select this face, drag this handle to this center axis and this handle to this datum plane. Go for placement and make it diameter. Now, this value, this is 88, change it to standard and from here you select M12. Now, here you have M12 into 0.75, M12 into 1, M12 into 1.5 and M12 into 1.75. So, based on this value, you need to select the proper option. So, I will go with M12 into 1.75. So, when you select this, you automatically get this value, the board dia 10.2. If you select other value, like if you select M12 into 1, this will be 11. That is why you need to select M12 into 1.75. Now, two holes bore dia 10.25 deep 18. So, this depth is 18 and then you have tap M12 which is already selected deep 12. So, this value will be 12. Now, this angle you make it 0 and say ok. So, you got the hole. Now, mirror it with reference of this datum plane and say ok. Now, the next feature which is this hole. So, once again go to hole, again you select this face, drag this handle to this center axis and this handle to this datum plane. Now, this hole is M24. So, go to standard select M24 from here. Now, you see M24 into 1.5 into 2 and into 3. So, this value you need to select according to the bore dia. The bore dia is 21. So, 24 minus 21 equals 3. So, you need to select this value 24 into 3. So, here you are automatically getting 21 as a bore dia. Now, the bore dia is 33 deep, that means this value is 33 and then the tap deep is 24, that means this is 24. Now, this value, this is 120, first you change it the placement, make it diameter and then you make it 120, then this angle is 0, let us say ok. So, you got the hole, just mirror it with this datum plane and say ok. Now, the next feature which is this hole. So, for this once again go to hole, this time you select this face, drag this handle to this center axis and this handle to this datum plane. Now, the dia of hole is 22, PCD 225. So, first you go to placement and make it diameter and then PCD 225, angle 0 and the hole dia is 22. Depth, you make it 2 next and say ok. Now, go to pattern, axis pattern, 
select the center axis 360 degree 6 items say ok now let us create a section view and for this go to front datum plane view sections make it section A say ok So, this is your section, you can switch on the hatch. So, this view is exactly matching with this. And this part is done, save it. Now, the next part and for that once again go to new part solid assign the name so this time i'll take name as breeze uncheck use default template say okay select the proper part template so select this one and say okay now to start this part i'll start with this base and for this, I will go to extrude onto the top datum plane, normal. I will draw a sketch center line somewhere here. Now, draw the rough sketch. So, start with a circle just like this, dimension. So, this is radius 38. Now, one more circle, this side, I will mirror this circle with this reference. Now, I will draw a tangent line. So, I will go to line tangent, I will select this circle and this circle, then this circle, this circle, this and this, this and this. Go to delete segment, delete this segment, this segment this segment, this, these two and these two. Now, the dimension. So, this gap from here till here, this is 120 and this is radius 30. Say ok. Now, the thickness is 28, say ok. So, first feature is done, now the second feature which is this portion. So, go to the extrude, select this face, normal, draw a circle. This is dash 60, say ok. Then the thickness is 10. Okay. Now, the next feature is this draft. So, go to the draft, select this face, right click, select a draft hinge, this surface and then assign the angle which is 30 degree. Say ok. Now, the next feature is this hole. So, this is a square thread, the maximum dia is 34. So, they have not given the bore dia. So, for bore dia, you can see the spindle drawing, the bore dia is 28. So, first I will add the bore dia. So, I will go to the hole, I will select this face, I will switch on all the datums, hold the control key and select this axis. Now, the bore dia is 28, and the depth take it to next. Say so, ok. Now, I will add this square thread, and for this, I will go to helical sweep, go to reference, define, 
and select this datum plane sketch normal add a datum center line somewhere here and then a sketch profile just like this now this dia is 34 I will take this point as a start point. Now, this value I will take it as 6 and from here till here this is also 6. Now, you say ok. Then go for sketch normal. Now, draw the sketch. So, draw a rectangle from here inwards, let it be equal, this you take it 3 and say ok. Then the pitch you take it 3 into 2 which is 6, go for remove material and say ok. Now, let us create a section view. So, select front datum plane, go to view, section, make it section A, say ok. Go for front view, just flip the direction, say ok. So, now this dia is 34 and this dia is 28. So, this is board dia and this is threaded dia. Now, the next feature is this hole. So, dia 26, two holes. So, go to hole, select this face, switch on all your datums, then drag this handle to this datum plane and this handle to this axis. Now, go to placement and make it diameter. This value is 120, then this angle make it 0, dia is 26, so this is 26 and depth you make it 2 next and say ok. Mirror it with this reference, say ok and the part is done. Now, the next part which is valve and for that once again go to new part solid assign the name. So, I will take name as valve, uncheck use default template and say ok. Select the proper part template, so select this and say ok. Now, I will start this part with this revolve feature. So, for this I will go to revolve onto the front datum plane, normal, switch off all the datums. Place a datum center line somewhere here. Now, draw a circle first. So, draw a circle, make it tangent just like this. Now, the dimension. So, this is radius 125, now draw a line, so draw a line just like this, mirror this line with this reference. Now, this dimension, this is 144 and this is 6, delete segment, delete this segment and this segment. Now, draw one more circle just like this, then one more line from here till here, mirror this line with this reference, then go for delete segment, delete this segment and this segment. Now, the dimension, so this angle, this is 45 degree and this gap 
is 125. Then this radius, this is 150. Now go to delete segment and delete these all segments. Make this dimension strong and this dimension strong. Now the top portion, so start a line just like this, come this side and close like this. Then go to divide and divide this line segment, make it construction. Now this die is 70 and this height, this is 16 plus 19. And the sketch is done, now just say OK and OK. Now the next feature which is this one and for this go to extrude onto the front datum plane, normal. Now draw a sketch center line somewhere here, then draw a circle. The radius of this circle is 40. Now go to reference, select uh, this reference and this reference. Draw a line starting from here, come down, then draw a three point arc starting from here. Make it tangent just like this. Just go to delete segment and delete this segment. Now select this two segment, mirror it with this reference. Go to delete segment, delete this segment and this segment. Now the dimension. So from here till here, this is 119, then go to coincident, move this point to this. Now this radius is radius 40. Now close the sketch using three point arc and say OK. make it symmetric, thickness is 8 mm, say ok. Now select this feature and go for pattern, go for axis pattern switch on all the datums, select this axis, make it two items and say ok. Now the next feature which is this cut, so go to extrude onto the front datum plane, normal, switch off all the datums. draw a sketch center line and then a rectangle just like this. This is 40 and this is 19, say ok, remove material, option, 2 next and 2 next. Now the next feature which is this hole. So go to hole, select this face, hold the control key and select this axis. Now this dia is 22 and the depth is 2 next, say ok. Now the next feature which is this one. So go to revolve 
फ्रंट डेटम प्लेन नॉर्मल ड्रा डेटम सेंटर लाइन जस्ट लाइक दिस गो टू रेफरेंस सेलेक्ट दिस रेफरेंस दिस वन सेलेक्ट दिस वन नो ड्रा सर्कल सो दिस इज डैश सिक्स देन ड्रा लाइन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हियर कम डाउन देन ड्रा लाइन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हियर क्लोज इट The sketch is done. Just say okay. Remove material. Say okay. So now this is a curved surface because of this dimension, di one twenty five. This surface will be curved. Now the next feature, which is a chamfer. So this edge, this edge, this, and this. This is two. Okay. Now the round. So select this edge, hold the control key, and select this edge. Radius, you take it as five, and okay. Similarly, one more round. Which is coming here, here, then same way, here, here, and here, then here, here, and here. Similarly, this side, here, here, and here. The radius is five, and say okay. Now create a section view. So go to the view section, select the front datum plane, make it section A, and say okay. and this part is done now the next part next part is gland and for that go to new part solid assign the name so i'll take name as gland and check use default template and say okay now from here you select a proper part template so i'll go with this i'll say okay so this is the drawing this is the top view and this is the front section view and for this first i'll go for revolve feature on to the front datum plane normal switch off all the datums place a datum center line somewhere here then draw the sketch start with a line just like this This dia is twenty eight. Then uh, this gap is thirty five. Now draw the rough sketch. Draw like this, like this. Come down. Then go like this. Close the sketch. Now the dimension. So from here. Till here, this is forty-two. This is thirty. This is dia fifty-six. And this angle is one twenty degree. 
and your sketch is done. Say OK and OK. Now the next feature is this one. So for this, go to extrude, select this face, normal, go for reference, select front datum plane, then this circle and this circle. Draw a sketch center line somewhere here. Now draw the circle. So one circle here, another circle here. One more circle somewhere here. Avoid equal constraint. Now select this circle, go for mirror with this reference. Now draw a tangent line starting from here just like this and from here just like this, from here like this, then from here like this. Delete segment, delete this segment, this, 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 this and this. Now the gap between this and this, this is 88 and this is radius 19. Now the sketch is done, say ok. Now the depth, go for two selected and select this bottom face and say OK. And the part is done. Go to view, sections, select the front datum plane, make it section A. So this section view is matching with this. Now the next feature is these two holes and for this first you edit this feature, go inside the sketch normal and here you place two datum point, one here, another one here, say ok and ok. So once you place these two datum points, you will get a center axis here and here. Now go to hole, select this face, hold the control key and select this axis. Now the die of hole is 14, so make it 14, depth you make it 2 next, say ok. Now select this hole. Control C to copy it and then Control V to paste it. Select this face, hold the control key and select this axis. Say OK. And this part is done. Save it. Now the next part which is this one and for this go to new, part, solid, assign the name. So the name is wall sheet, uncheck use default template and say ok. Now from here you select the proper part template, so select this template, say ok. Now this part I will start with a revolve feature, so I will go to revolve onto the front datum plane, normal, switch off all the datums place a datum center line somewhere here. Start with a line just like this. Now this is dia 144 and this is dia 156. Now draw the rough sketch. So go like this, then this side then come down, then go like this, go up, close the sketch. Now the dimension, so from here till here, this is 50, this is 40, 
this dia is dia 125 and this dia delete this equal length and this is dia 144. Now, this angle is 90 degree and your sketch is done, say ok and ok and the part is done. Now, create a section view. So, go to the section, select the front datum plane, make it section A. and this part is done. Save it. Now, the next part which is spindle and for that once again go to new part solid assign the name. So, it is spindle uncheck use default template and say ok. Select the proper part template. So, I will go with this I will say ok. So, this is the drawing and I will start this part with a revolve feature onto the front datum plane, normal, switch off all the datums. Place a datum center line somewhere here. Now, this position I will fix it here. So, I will start with a simple line. This is dia 28 and this is 180. Then I will continue like this, I will go down and like this. This is dia 22 and this is 32. Now, this side, so I will start like this, I will go up and then like this. I will delete this equal constraint and I will make this equal to this. Now, this is 85 and this is dia 34. Now, from here move this side then this side, this side, this side, then this side and then close with a three point arc. Now, the dimension. So, from here till this end, this is 378. Then from here till here, this is 5 and this is 48. This is dia 20 and this is 40. Then this gap, I will take it as 2. Now, just close the sketch just like this and say ok and ok. Now, the next feature is this extrude feature. So, go to extrude, select this face, normal, draw center rectangle. Just make it normal or equal. Now, this is 25 and say ok. Now, the height is 28, say ok. Now, this portion is having square thread. So, for that I will go to helical sweep onto the front datum plane, sketch 
normal. Place a datum center line somewhere here. Then go for reference and select this edge as a reference. Now draw the thread profile. So start like this till here. Now this value I will take it as 3 and then this side I will take it as 3. I will change the start point, I will select this point, right click and make it start point. Say ok. Now go for sketch. Now here you draw a rectangle just like this. Let it be these two sides equal. Now this will be 3. Say ok. Now the pitch is double of that. So it will be 6. Remove material and say ok. So you are getting the correct result. Now the next feature which is this hole. So for this go to hole, switch on all the datums, select the front datum plane, drag this handle to this datum plane and this handle to this surface. Now the dia hole is 5. This you make it 0 and this 23. Depth you make it 2 next. Now this side you go to shape, top clearance and say ok. Now the last feature which is this one. M20 thread. So, for that go to engineering, cosmetic thread, select this face and then select this surface. Flip the direction and say ok. And your spindle is done. Save it. Now, the next part which is the collar. So, go to new, part, solid, assign the name. So, the name is color. Uncheck use default template, say ok. Select the proper part template. So, this is the drawing and for this, I will go to extrude onto the top datum plane, normal. Switch off all the datums. Now draw the sketch. So I will draw two circles here. The inner circle is dia 22 and the outer is dia 32. Say ok. The depth is 14, make it symmetric and say ok. Next feature is this hole. So, for that go to hole, switch on all your datums, select this datum plane, drag this handle to this datum plane and then this handle to this surface. So, this will be 0 and this will be 7, depth 2 next and uh, second direction 2 next, say ok. And 
and this part is done. Now go for section view, select a right datum plane, make it section A, say OK. And this part is done. Save it. Now the next part, which is a color stud, and for that go to new part solid, assign the name. So it is color stud. Uncheck use default template and say OK. Select the proper part template. So I'll go with this. I'll say OK. So this is the drawing and for this I will go to revolve onto the front datum plane, normal, switch off all the datums, place a datum center line somewhere here. Now draw the sketch. So I will start this sketch from here. I will fix this point somewhere here. So I will start with a line. I will just draw one single line. Now this is diode 24 and this length is 98. Now draw the rough sketch. So draw like this. This is 5 and this is 26. This dia is dia 30. Now this side, so I will go like this, go up and then like this, then up like this and close the sketch. Now this is 5. This is dia 30 and this uh, total length from here till here, this is 184 and the sketch is done. Now just say OK and OK. Now the next feature is this thread, so it is M24 thread. So for this go to engineering select a cosmetic thread, select this face and then select this face. Go to standard and here you select M24. So there are multiple varieties. I will go with this. Now the thread depth is 26. Say OK. Similarly, one more time, cosmetic thread, this time you select this face and then you select this face. Once again, this is M24, so go for standard and select M24. Again, I will go with this, this time depth is correct, so I will just say OK. Now the next feature is this dome shape. So for this go to revolve onto the front datum plane, normal. Just draw a three point arc starting from here till here, just like this. Then dimension from here till here, this I will take it as three. And then I will place a datum center line somewhere here. Say OK. Go for remove material, flip the direction and say OK. Similarly, one more time, revolve, front datum plane, normal, datum center line, somewhere here and then three point arc starting from here, this side, just like this, then this gap. I will take it as 3, 
say ok, remove material, flip the direction, ok and this part is done. Now, save it. Now, the next part which is stud M20 and for this go to new part solid name. So, it is stud M20, uncheck use default template, say ok, select the proper part template. So, this is the drawing and for this I will simply go for extrude onto the top datum plane normal, I will draw a circle. Now, this die is 20, say ok. Now, the height is 75, make it symmetry and say ok. Now, the next feature which is this threaded portion M20, so go to engineering, cosmetic thread, select this face and then this face. Now, this one, this is 30. Now, change it to standard and from here you select M20. Say ok. Same way one more time, cosmetic thread, this face and then this face. this is 20, change it to standard and then you select M20. And say ok. Now, once again create a revolve cut here to get this shape. So, go to revolve, select the front datum plane, normal place a datum center line somewhere here, then draw a three point arc starting from here till here, just like this, starting from here till here, just like this. Close this sketch like this and like this. Now, the dimension. So, I will take this as 3 and this as 3. Say ok and ok. And this part is done. Save it. Now, the next part which is stud M12. So, I will just save as this part with a new name. I will take stud M12, I will say ok. I will open that part, stud M12, open it, just modify the dimensions. So, I will go to this, I will change the dia, so this will be 12, say ok. Then go to this thread, modify it, make it M12, then this depth is 40, say ok. Similarly, this thread, make it M12 and this is also 12. Say ok. Now, the total length is 68 here. Say ok. Control G to regenerate and this part is done. Save it. Now, the next part which is hand wheel and for that once again go to new part solid assign the name. So, the name is hand wheel, 
uncheck use default template and say ok. Select the proper part template. Now this is the part and for this I will create a revolve feature first onto the front datum plane normal switch off all the datums. Now place a datum center line somewhere here and a sketch center line somewhere here. Then draw a circle this side. Now this dia is 250 and this is dia 26. Now draw a rectangle somewhere here just like this. This is 30 and this is dia 50 and say ok. Now the next feature is this connecting arm and for this I will go to extrude onto the front datum plane normal. Now draw a center line first just like this. Now add a center rectangle. Just like this. Now this is 10 and then this line and this line you make it construction. Add a three point arc like this and like this. Then add the dimension from here till here this is 20. Say ok. Uncheck remove material and this you make it 2 next. Go to option and second direction also you make it 2 next. Say ok. Go for pattern, axis pattern. Select this axis, two items. Say ok. Next feature is extrude cut onto this. Draw center rectangle somewhere here. This is 25. Say ok. Flip the direction, remove material to next. Say ok. Now the round, select this edge, this one, this one, this one and then this side, this side this side and this side. Radius you let it be 5 and say ok. And this part is done. Now go to view, sections, select the front datum plane, make it section A, say ok. And the part is done, save it. Now the next part which is M24 nut, so for that once again go to new, part, solid, assign the name, so the name is nut M24, uncheck use default template, say ok and select the proper part template. Now to create the nut, go to extrude onto the top datum plane, normal, switch off all the datums, then go to the palette and from here you select six sided hexagon, just double click here and place it here, close it. Now drag it and move it like this, now this you make it 50 and say ok.
delete this dimension and then place a dimension from this end to this end. Now this is 48, say ok. Now the thickness is 20 and say ok. Now the next feature which is a reward feature, switch on all the datums and then you select this datum plane, normal. Place a datum center line somewhere here, then draw the sketch, draw sketch just like this. This angle you take it 30 degree and this you take it 5, say ok. Go for remove material and say ok. Now the last feature which is a M24 hole here, so go to hole, select this face, hold the control key and select this axis. Go to standard and from here you select M24. Depth you make it to next and say ok. And the part is done. Save it. Now the same part I will use for M20. So I will just go to file, save as, save a copy. And here I will take nut M20. Say OK. Once again file, save as, save a copy. And this time nut M12. Say OK. Cancel this part and then you open nut M20 and modify all the dimension. So, first I will modify this. So, this dimension will be 40, say ok. This thickness will be 18, say ok. Then this hole will be M20, say ok. And this part is done, save it. Now open nut M12, modify all the dimensions. So this will be 24, and this will be 10, and then this will be M12. Say ok. Save it. Now the next part which is packing. So go to new part solid assign the name. Uncheck use default template and say ok. Select the proper part template. Now for this part go for revolve onto the front datum plane, normal, switch off all the datums. Place a datum center line somewhere here and a sketch center line somewhere here. Now draw a line just like this. This is rare 28. Then draw a line just like this and mirror it with this reference. 
now the dimension so this is 40 and then this angle is 120 and this dia is dia 56 now the sketch is done say ok and ok go to view section select the front datum plane make it section a and this part is done now save it now the last part which is pin so go to new part solid assign the name so it is pin uncheck use default template and say ok select the proper part template now for the pin go to revolve and to the front datum plane normal place a datum center line somewhere here now draw the rough sketch so i'll start with a line this is 5 then i'll just draw a rough sketch like this I will trim this portion. Now, if you see here, this is taper 1 is to 50. That means if this length is 50, then this dia will be 1 plus 5, which is 6. That means if this length is 50, then this dia increment will be 1. So, when the length is 34, then the increment will be 34 divided by 50 which is 0.68. So, if the length is 34, then this dia will be 5.68. So, this I will take 5.68 and then this gap will be 34. Say OK and OK. Now just go to round, select this edge and then go to set, select D1, D2 conic and then you just drag like this. This make it 1 and this you make it 2.5 say ok similarly this side go to round select this edge and then go to set d1 d2 conic and then say ok and your key is done save it so all the parts are done now i will do the assembly and for that first we create a new assembly file so go to new assembly assign the name so it is stop valve uncheck use default template and say ok now from here you select proper assembly template so i'll go with this I'll say OK. So this is my new assembly file and here I will call all individual parts one by one and assemble it. So my first part is body and to assemble it go to assemble, select body, open. Now this is my first part so I'll simply go to placement and I'll select default and I'll say OK. I will just hide these datums and I will go for a section view. I will select this datum plane and I will make it section A. I will just hide all the datums. Now the next part 
is this part, part number 6, valve seat. So, for this go to assemble, select valve seat. Now, to assemble this part, move it back side. So, if it is this side before the section plane, then you cannot see it. You need to move back side or otherwise you can use this window to assemble it. So, by using this option, you can switch on a separate window. So, I will just select this face, I will assemble it with this face. Then I will select this bottom face and I will place it onto this face. I will say OK. Now, the next part which is this part, this is part 4 valve. So, go to assemble, select valve, open it. So, this valve I will just select this face, assemble with this, then I will select this face, assemble with this, this I will make it tangent, I will say ok. Now, the next part which is 8 and 17. So, these two parts I will assemble it later on. Now, I will move to second part which is the cover. So, I will go to assemble, I will select cover, double click it. Now, this part I will simply select this face and assemble it with this face. Then, I will select this bottom face, assemble with this face. I say ok. Now, the next part which is this part 16 number packing. So, go to assemble, select packing, open it. Now, I will select this inner face and I will assemble it with this face. I will just say OK and I will just hide these three parts. Now, I will modify this part and I will go to placement, new constraint and here I will select this bottom face with this face. This I will make it tangent. Now, one more constraint I need to constrain it completely. So, for this I will simply switch on the datum planes, I will go for third constraint and then I will select this plane with this plane, I will say ok. Now, the next part is this part, part number 5 which is gland. So, I will go to assemble, I will select gland, double click it. Now, this part I will select the inner face, I will assemble it with this face. Then, this bottom face I will assemble with this, again this I will make it tangent, I will say ok. Now, just I will deactivate the section view. Now, the next part is this part. This is part number 9, which is collar stud. So, I will go to assemble, I will select collar stud. Now, this one I will select this face with this face. then this face with this face, make it coincident and say ok. 
Now the same part you need to assemble this side. So select this part and simply go for repeat and select these two constant, say add and select this face and this face. Say okay. It is assembled. Now the next part which is this part, part number 10 which is stud M20. So go to assemble, select stud M20, just double click it. Select this face, assemble with this. Then you just switch on the datum plane. Now select this face and assemble with this face. Now this you make it distance, move it up. And this you make it 15, say ok. Now just select this part and go for pattern, say ok. Now the next part is this part, part number 3 which is bridge. So go to assemble, select bridge. Now select this face, assemble with this, then select this face, assemble with this, then this face, assemble with this. This you make it coincident, say ok. Now the next part is part number 11 which is stud M12, so go to assemble, select stud M12. Now to assemble this part, first I will create a section view, so I will just say ok and then I will go to view section and I will select ASM right. I will make it section B, I will say ok. Now I will edit this part. I will select this face, I will assemble it with this face, now I will just switch on the datum plane, I will select this datum plane and then I will assemble it with this surface. This I will make it 15. I will say ok. At this part I will simply select it, I will go for repeat. I will select these two constant, add, I will select this face and this face, say ok. Now the next part is this spindle, so go to assemble, select spindle. I will just say ok and I will unhide these three part. I will go for section view. I will modify this part, I will edit it, I will move it back.
then I will assemble it with this face to this face. And uh, I'll select this face with this face. And I'll say okay. Now assemble this uh, eighth number part which is collar. So I will select collar and then first I will select this face with this face and then I will select this face with this face. Say ok. Then assemble part number 17 which is pin. So, I will go to the axis, I will select this axis with this axis this you make it coincident Now I will switch off the axis and switch on the datum plane. I will select this datum plane and then I will select this datum plane. Make it distance. Say OK. Switch off all the datums and then once again modify it. Go for the third constraint distance and then we just drag it this side. Make it 5. Say OK. OK. Now the top side, so here the next part is this hand wheel, so go to assemble, select hand wheel. Now this first you select this face with this face, make it coincident and then you just select this face with this face, this you make it coincident. Now select this face with this face and say ok. Now the next part is these nuts, so I will start with the 14th part which is nut M20, so symbol nut M20. Select this face with this face and then this bottom face with this face. Make it coincident, say ok. Similarly, not here. So, this is part number 13. So, part number 13 is M24, not M24. So, I will go for not M24. Similarly, first you select this face with this face, then this bottom face with this face. 
make it coincident say okay now this part i will simply repeat it i'll select these two constant add and i'll select this face and this face okay now if you see this part i think there is something wrong so this has to go down till here and that is why i'll just select this part and just modify it i'll go to placement distance this has to go down till here so this you make it 15 and say okay and all the pattern got updated now i'll just deactivate the section view and then i will apply part number 14 which is nut m20 so once again i will go to assemble nut m20 again this face with this face and bottom face with this face make it coincident okay now select this part go for pattern and say okay similarly assemble part number 15 which is nut m12 so go to assemble select nut m12 select this face with this face and then bottom face with this face make it coincident and say okay select this part go for repeat select all the constraint applied and then you select this face and this face and say okay and the assembly is done now i'll just modify section a i'll go to edit and here if you go to models exclude selected models i will just exclude this then this and uh, this so okay so now my assembly will look like this just deactivate the section view and assembly is done now for the assembly animation if you are interested then let me know in the comment section below and I'll make a separate video for assembly animation. So that's it from this video. So this was stop valve assembly in Creo parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.